Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Supreme Dragon probably brings to you deck profile. Don't forget, like, subscribe buttons down below. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook and leave a comment down below. What do you think of my spellbook deck? So, everyone should know what spellbooks do, but here's my version. Two copies of World of Prophecy. Special summon this guy. Add two spellbooks from your graveyard back to your hand. Reveal four. Nuke the field. Three copies of High Priestess. Oh, also, he's a 2900 beater. Uh, reason I run two, three gets really cloggy, and you don't really want to draw into this guy as much. Uh, three high priestess. Uh, this one you want to see as much as possible. Uh, reveal three, special summon it, banish one spell book, pop a card on the field. Really good effect. 2,500 meter. Uh, three copies of temperance. Uh, activate a spell book, send this to the graveyard, special summon either priestess or world. Very good card. Uh, very prone to effect veilers. Uh, three copies of Spellmonk Magician. Special summon this, uh, normal summon this guy, or uh, flip it face up. Uh, go search out a spellbook card from your uh, spellbook spell card from your deck, or you can search this off of Spellbook of Secrets. Uh, one copy of Reaper. Uh, this guy has three effects. If you have three or more in the graveyard, it gains 600. If you have four or more when it is normal or special summoned. You can add a spell book to your hand, and five or more, you can special summon a level six or higher uh, dark spellcaster. So that's why I'm running uh, Prophecy Destroyer. Uh, when it's in the graveyard, you can banish three spell books, special summon it. It's a very good, uh, these two work very well together. Uh, one copy of Justice of Prophecy. Uh, activate a spell book this turn, uh, send it to the graveyard during your end phase, or is it banish? Banish it, sorry. Banish it, add Spellbook and Priestess to hand. It's a great way to get to it. And for the monsters, rounding it out, three copies of Effect Veiler to negate stuff and or go into the one Synchro Summon in the deck, and I'll go over that in just a bit. That does it for the monsters of the deck. Now for spells, three copies of Crescent, Library of the Crescent. If you have no Spellbooks in Graveyard, activate this, reveal three Spellbook cards. Your opponent picks one to put in your hand. Three copies of Spellbook of Secrets. This searches out any other spellbook in the deck, including Spellbook Magician. Two copies of Spellbook of the Master. You have to have a spellcaster on the field to use this effect. Activate it. Target one normal spellbook spell card in your graveyard. Reveal a spellbook. Target the... And this gets the effect of the normal spell card in the grave. I run three copies of Eternity. Reason is, with a lot of banishing stuff, you want to get your spellbooks back to your deck. So that's why the three copies. Two copies of Spellbook of Power. The reason I run two is this adds a little more search and this gives some of your other spellbook uh, spellcasters that thousand point boost that they may need to get over a specific card. Two copies of Wisdom. That way this protects your bigger uh, monsters from traps and or spell card effects, depending on what you need. Uh, the one Spellbook of Fate. Uh, banish one, return one set spell or trap card in the field. Banish two. Flip a monster face up or face down. Banish three. Banish one monster on the field. And it's a quick place, so it's a very good one. This is one you want to recycle a lot of. I run two copies of Spellbook of Life. This way, if I need to get to... Uh, if my priests are in the graveyard, I can get to it. Or if I need to get World out of the graveyard, it gets effect off. I use that. I run two copies of Spellbook Tower. This way, I can recycle uh, and get a little more draw power going. And then if it's sent to the graveyard, uh, special summon a spell caster equal to the number of different spell books and currently in graveyard. Or no, it's added to hand. Sorry. And Book of Moon. Just a little bit of extra protection and or to get that extra search off from Spellbook Magician. So that does it for spells. And the two traps I run, two Phoenix Chains. That way I can kind of protect my guys and, and or uh, Sweaker Monsters. So that does it for the main deck. Now for the extra deck, I run one copy of Ancient Pixie Dragon. As long as there's a field spell on the field, you can pop a monster for free. And if you activate your tower during that turn, you get to draw an additional card. As for Xyz, uh, rank 2 is our Armored Kappa uh, and Herald of Pure Light. That way you can recycle dead worlds in your hand to get back Banished stuff, Levy Air. Chrononaut just to be annoying. Fortune Tune to be annoying. Alucard to be annoying and pop stuff. Cowboy to deal burn damage. 
Emerald to recycle monsters. Uh, Downward Magician to deal piercing damage. You can overlay it on your level rank 2s or 3s. Uh, M7 for the rank 6. Uh, Strike Bouncer as well. Number 11, uh, Draco Sack and Higher Fan of Prophecy. This is to blow up stuff in the back row, equal to the number of spellbooks in Graveyard. And real quickly, my side deck. Two copies of Jalgen, two copies of Kaiku, two Breakers, two Monks, two Star Halls, two Secret Village of the Spellcasters. As long as you control a Spellcaster, you, know, you can activate spells, and if your opponent doesn't, they can't. The Lone Soul Charge, and what will round out the deck when I get them will be two copies of And the Band Played On. I'll have those on Friday in Ultra Rare. So, don't forget, like, subscribe buttons down below. Check me out on Facebook as well. Leave a comment down below what you think of my Spellbook Prophecy deck. And this is Supreme Dragon, signing out.